I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she shits. <laughs> <laughs> See? She sits and where she, sh- she sits. She sh- <laughs> okay. Shake it up. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. The Martini Boys. Hey. The Martini Boys. Hey. Pour yourself a drink. Hey. What is up, everyone? Welcome back. It is another week. We got something special going on tonight. Mm. The science, actual martinis. I've chosen four classic martinis that I would love for Matt to try. I'm excited. Yes. I uh, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had any of these in the wild, so I'm excited to try them here. Excited. So we have, <clears throat> we'll go through each what each has when we when we drink them but we have a gimlet we have a french martini a old fashioned and last but not least dirty martini baby <laughs> wow so talk dirty to me let's uh yeah what are we starting with here i don't know what any of these are so we'll go right right to left okay, uh yours so is left, left to right. right yeah yeah <laughs> so how i how i did it wasn't as practical as i thought All right. so cheers so what are we starting off with it with here cheers this is the gimlet sorry french french martini french martini <laughs> How is it? It's good. It tastes like pineapple. Do you like it? Yeah. So this is the French. It is uh Chambord Chambord. God, I can't I never can pronounce charcuterie it. Charcuterie board? Yeah, charcuterie <laughs> board. It's a uh, raspberry liqueur, Chambord, Chambord. <laughs> Chambrody. <laughs> and it has pineapple juice and it has gin. Mmm. Tasty, baby. It's vodka, actually. (laughs) (laughs) It's, uh... (laughs) Ah. Yum. (laughs) I don't know if I'm going to finish that one, to be honest with you, dude. (laughs) It's not my favorite. Yeah. Um... It, you know what it reminds me a little bit of, and it's probably just because it's pineapple. But right. when we went to California and we had the pineapple, yes, uh, yes. was it tequila? I think so. Or so vodka I think in, it was uh, vodka soaked. It could, it, but it could be gin. It could Tower thirteen in uh, Encinitas. Okay. So um, yeah, let me let me clarify this. Um, sure. Sure. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> vodka. So this is the French martini. It's uh, Chambord. Which there you is go. the Chambord. There you go. I don't know. Raspberry liqueur, vodka, pineapple juice. So that is number one. I don't mind it. It's pretty good. We have some uh strong. It is strong. You might you might start to like you get might, drunk. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you might start to get get used to it more. I will. But, I am. Um I have I, I I did a little a little game for us between each. I'm stoked. So um, <laughs> my phone decided to stop printing, so uh, I had to screenshot it here. But you have something nice. Oh, look at that paper. Yes, paper. Oh God, <laughs> I've only read two words that I'm already struggling <laughs> to. S- s- never mind. <laughs> I'll That's get back to that one. <laughs> Is it the bad one? Uh, no. It's, oh, okay. It just looks really hard. Okay, I'll go. I'll go first. So. Explain what we're doing here, though. Yeah. So we have tongue twisters. So I figured... We're already bad at speaking. Yeah. We'll get a little... drinking alcohol. We'll so. get a little loosey-goosey <laughs> and um, go over some crazy tongue twisters as we drink. All right. So. Let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I think it's a charcuterie board in it. Yeah. <laughs> That that's better or worse? I don't know. It makes it like so bitter. There is ice in here, guys. Nothing's room temperature. I know we've had that problem in the past, <laughs> but uh, no, there good. is ice. It's good. Yeah, 
I uh, I didn't like it at first. I'm definitely getting used to it. I think I just wasn't expecting or didn't know what to expect. I so mean, to be I fair, we haven't even had anything else to drink. Like, we didn't have, like, a beer or, like, something to start it with. So we went right for yeah. the strong Usually, usually we lube it up with, like, a, <laughs> a high <laughs> noon or uh, some McGillicuddy's or something fun to get the boys a little going. But we have plenty here to get us going. <laughs> lube it up. <laughs> yeah, we, we really do. I know it's a little strong, so uh, let's get to it, man. Yeah, go what? F- go for give me, it. give me so, a number. <laughs> I don't know so, what you so have. So we have, I have. <laughs> it's all at random. I have number it's seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right, you only need four of the five. Give me a. All right, I want to so do this first. So let's go. One. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Should I just? I'm gonna try to read it first. Okay. Six sick hicks, nick six slick bricks, and picks and sticks <laughs> with picks and sticks. All right, round two. Six sick hicks, nick six slick bricks with picks and sticks. <laughs> Was that English? That's messed up. That must be Canadian. <laughs> I'm, g- I'm gonna go for one. Did you? Uh, you want to try and read this one too? Yeah, we give could, it a shot. You've heard it a couple right. times. You All know right. what to expect, but yeah, let me hear your best. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's at the top. Yeah, right. yeah. Six sick hicks, nick six slick. Bricks with, p- <laughs> with, with picks and sticks. <laughs> All right, one more time. <laughs> six sick hicks, Nick. Six slick bricks with picks and sticks. Great job. Thanks, man. All right, we'll that see one. how these go. We'll we'll co- maybe these we should go. come back to that at the end. We should. Yeah, let's <laughs> we'll see if we got it. I'll read mine and I'll give it to you. Mine's just perverted, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of funny. I'm going to give this uh, another couple of... <laughs> little... <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Spread it thick, say it quick. (laughs) (laughs) What the hell? Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Spread it thicker, say it quicker. Oh, it's 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 three times. Spread uh, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread. Don't eat with your mouth full. You're doing fine. Try it out. Try this. Try this bad boy out. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black spread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black spread, spread it thicker, say it quicker. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, don't eat with your mouth full. They must do that to throw you off at the end. It definitely throws me off. (laughs) Off a cliff. (laughs) Oh, man. This is uh, is something. (laughs) We're really turning it up. Uh, I guess should we finish? Yeah. Should we finish him? Yeah. I cheers. don't. All right, cheers. I, uh, I've been drinking a lot quicker than you because I'm I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to point out these are flights. If you couldn't tell, no, they're full pints. So, <laughs> twelve ounces. It's not like we're having one martini each. It's only one martini, and then we're they're all split in half. So. Technically, it's only two, two total by the end of this podcast. I'm, uh, I'm already gonna throw up in t- five seconds. <laughs> well, if we have to take a break, no, uh, I'll do it on the air my for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Let's put that one in the rear view mirror, okay. please. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have a classic gimlet. This is gin. Lime juice and simple syrup. Do you remember what we talked about last week? I'll about, remember about if you lime tell me. wedges. Oh yes. Remember what I hate? <laughs> a slice. What the hell is this? How am I supposed to squeeze this in my drink? <laughs> there's already. I lime think it's juice supposed to just it. look pretty, right? You already. Yeah, you squeeze. It's like, garnish. All right. There's yeah. There's a whole when ounce. Something of lime comes juice. with a lime on it. I like to squeeze that baby in there. But you did already squeeze I a did. ton of lime juice in there. Yeah. Hey. What is this again? I was totally not listening. <laughs> Gimlet. Gimlet. Is gin. that like an English thing? Oh, gin. I don't know. It's Yeah, it's gin, but it, there's simple syrup in it. It smells yummy. There's it smells like a, kind of like a Moscow mule, maybe. Yeah, there is the simple lime. syrup plus lime. So. Oh, the simple syrup. Cheers. Gimlet. Well, uh, Gimlet, brother. See you later. <laughs> Give me a later. <laughs> this is real good. Real good. Mmm. That's gin? That's gin. I could chug that. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. I just might. <laughs> so uh, for those who don't know, it gives you a very like refreshing 
It's very refreshing. It kind of is like a lemon drop martini, but it's it's lime. jam. It's got jam and <laughs> lime. Yeah, lots of lime. I did put a lot of lime in here for that reason. So it 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 tastes like a. It tastes like lemonade, honestly. It's so it's very citrusy. It's it's pretty delicious. I and mean, I, th- I think that's why they they do it with lime because it probably just mixes very well together, which I like. I've never even heard of that before, but I like it a lot. The gimlet, yeah. I'll send you the. Send you no, the go to the bar and order. Can I get four giblets, please? <laughs> giblets. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is this dog food? We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go into the next one here. How? Oh, sh- yeah, yeah. Go ahead. How many yaks could a yak pack? Pack if a yak pack. <laughs> a yak <laughs> pack could pack yaks. <laughs> Let me try it again. How many yaks could a yak pack? Pack if a yak pack could pack yaks. All right, give me that. I guess, this, how many yaks could a yak pack pack if a yak pack 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 pack? <laughs> pack? <laughs> how many yaks could a yak pack pack if a yak pack could pack yaks? That's awesome. <laughs> I love packing <laughs> yaks. Good job, man. It's just like uh, how many U-Hauls could a U-Haul haul if a U-Haul could haul U-Hauls? <laughs> that is a good one. That's a good one. There's more to the woodchuck one. You always say the first part, but I guess how much like wood the could woodchuck chuck if woodchuck could. So there's also yeah. a beer. This is so funny. Mike, my brother, loves woodchuck cider. It's not a beer, cider. Woodchuck. Right? So woodchuck. he likes to say, how much woodchuck could a woodchuck chug if a woodchuck could chug woodchuck? Ooh, that's tough. You like that yeah. one? Because you're throwing the Can chug. It? How much wood could a wood no, chuck? How much how wood chuck could a wood chuck it. chug? Got it. How much wood chuck could a wood chuck <laughs> chug if a wood chuck could chug wood chuck? <laughs> there you go. Woo! That's a good one right there. That is a good one. All right. Let me uh, hit, hit it up. Hit me up. Let me give this a big old swigaroo. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine. Oh no, I'm so bad with these. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop, where she shines, she sits, <laughs> and where she sits and she shines. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop, where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. <laughs> she shits. Try that one, number All ten, right. right there in the middle. <laughs> I'm pretty good with the Sally Seashell one, let's see. Yeah, but the she sh- she yeah. she sits. <laughs> the she shan. Taking the H out of it, so tough. All right, here we go, guys. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she shits. <laughs> <laughs> see? She sits and where she, sh- she sits. She sh- <laughs> okay. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. <laughs> there Let's you go. go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Snailed it. You only, you only shit once. You owe me, <laughs> <laughs> you owe me a shit shine. Shoot. <laughs> oh, man. That's a tough one. The, that is the, a tough the one. The shines and sits and she and sits and she shines. It's like so hard to take the uh, the H out of it once I put it in there. Right. Anyways, this is delicious. I'm going to finish is. it off here. Go. After a little... With the woodchuck one, most people know how much wood could the woodchuck chuck part, but I guess because <clears throat> I saw it when I was trying to get these, there's like another section to it. Uh, we don't have it on here, but um, <laughs> hey, don't be don't be peeking. That's don't be <laughs> But I, I'm glad that you were like, let's both read the same ones. But I think after after the original woodchuck, then it's like. It's, it talks about a how woodchuck, m- woodchuck, all the woody could chuck yes. if a woodchuck could. All right, so yes. How Explain much wood it. could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck, woodchuck, all the wood he could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. That's how it goes. Could chuck, <laughs> could chuck, could chuck. Eggplant, eggplant. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> yeah, finish up. That's that is delicious. And what, from what I could remember, I've only had one or two of these before. If it's been on like a special menu or it's just been one of their signature cocktails at like a restaurant or something the gimlet if you are looking for a cocktail or or a martini that isn't gonna uh burn your eyebrows off uh gimlet is a is a good choice very refreshing for sure yeah and, that was and a i would drink that all summer day long it's good to know i'll make like a i'll make a picture of it we should and i'll just i'll just load it up make to it with for line. uh for Lindsay palooza lose a palooza i meant to say Lindsay. <laughs> Lindsay palooza yeah 
that's our that's our own personal Vans Warp tour that we uh, yeah. <laughs> that we set set up in our backyard. All right. <clears throat> so this is up to you. We have okay. <laughs> we have one. So we have our old fashioned, and we have our. Dirty martini. I want to end with the pickle juice. Okay. So let's go, go with the dirt. Watch it down. Yeah, right. let's go with the, the old-fashioned, the, the dirty old grandpa fashion swagon. So these are one of my favorites. Oh, boy. It is bourbon with simple syrup and some bitter bitters, but I know you had experience with Four Roses, which you didn't like as much. No, I... I or just strong. I, I liked it better than I thought I would. Okay. I've tried bourbon and whiskey in the past, and like other than, like, you know, um, what's that? Obviously, Jack Daniel. What's the like Nips Fireball? Fireball. I yeah, like yeah. Fireball. Like, never was really a big fan of it. But this past or earlier this summer, I tried some Four Roses, okay. which is a bourbon. Bourbon. Okay, thank you. Straight whiskey. Yeah. Straight. I tried it and I liked it. So I'm uh, I'm excited to see how it goes and I don't know. We'll see how it, we'll, we'll see what it tastes like. So <laughs> let's just tr- let's just try it out here. All right, try it and I'll explain. That's very good. That's an old fashioned. This is an old fashioned. It doesn't. I mean, it's it's delicious. It kind of tastes so, like maple syrup a little bit. So yeah, definitely. So there may be a little more s- simple syrup than there should be, but only because I only made one, and again, we're like kind of testing out the waters here with different ones. So I, like I tried to make it a little sweet. All right, I mean, it definitely taste the whiskey or the uh, bourbon. The in bourbon. It. Remember, a whiskey is not a bourbon, but a bourbon is a type of whiskey. That's like a it's like a tongue twister in itself. <laughs> so I'm using one of my favorites. One of my favorites is Basil Hayden. This is Basil. So I've had Basil, Basil Hayden, Hayden straight. Cause, Delicious. Because people like that stuff, but yeah. uh, I did not like it. Maybe it's circumstantial. Like it was the, kind of the end of the day. This like day party we went to like a barbecue, and someone's like, "Oh, I have Basil Hayden. You want to try it?" I tried it, and I was like, "Just I just didn't like it." But this is this is fantastic, dude. I would drink this again. I uh, I'll make you, I'll make you one. I'll make you like a. I'll make your own. I'll put a I'll put a nice little orange peel in it. The bitters gives it a nice little smoky taste. It's sweet. It is sweet. So again, I, I but I'm glad though because I I wanted you to enjoy it and not just be completely like. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the simple the simple syrup definitely smooths it out. I'm let's, a big uh, guy. Let's let's do one of these. Let's do one more of these things. All right. For now. Uh, just to just to let you know, I just said I'm a big guy. I meant to say guy. I'm a big bourbon guy. You're a big guy. <laughs> so, okay. Go for it. This looks miserable. <laughs> through, all right. Through three cheese trees, three ch- free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. <laughs> freezy <laughs> breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees' cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. What the hell? I'm, so, I'm sweating. <laughs> Dude, that's a bad one. Whoever invented that needs to go to hell. <laughs> you gonna take another whirl? Another round? Uh, I want you to go before. Right. I need to. I need to like reset my brain oh my after God, that, that one. That made me sweat. That was that was Dude, funny. You're in. You're in for a good one here. I I tend to be pretty good. With these, some well, Good usually, luck. but let's let's try this. <sighs> Through three cheese trees, <laughs> <laughs> three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy bleas blew. <laughs> freezy bleas. <laughs> freezy breeze blew. Oh, okay. <clears throat> freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. <laughs> Free- <laughs> freezy trees. Made these trees cheese. <laughs> I would say trees cheeks. <laughs> cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas <laughs> sneeze. Go to hell, dude. That's <laughs> just like that's that just, is that is like. I'm gonna give another shot here. Oh man, that's through nice. three. Uh, I got two words. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. <laughs> freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. 
That's what made these three fleas free fleas sneeze. <laughs> God bless you. As a dice falls, you got all these booby traps. <laughs> I didn't recognize that. I'm gonna go walk in traffic. That was oh uh, that God. was miserable. <laughs> Should try it. It's fun. This is fun. Walking in traffic. Not tracking in traffic. <laughs> tracking in what? Tracking in, yeah. I'm not going to be able to speak now. Oh, man. When we go back to work, it's going to be like, how are you doing, Joe? How are you doing, Joe? Three freeze cheese, fleas, flu breeze, sneeze cheese. It's like a disease and freeze and Febreze. And All this cheese talk's got me hungry. <sighs> Unfortunately, guys, tonight is not Wednesday. <laughs> so no wing Wednesday. Dude, that is a... Uh they sell wings on Mondays? There's not half off? They do. It's just, oh, they sell them all the time. I thought Monday was like sushi day. Well, so it is, but it's so you get, you buy one, get one half off. It used to be buy one, get one. Bogo. But, Bogo, baloney. But now it's Bogo halfsies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bogo, but not. Yeah. We have to, um, so we, we had gone to this place that we wanted to try there. Um, wings and it was 10 cent wings or you could get the bucket I don't know if you can only get the bucket but the bucket's a dollar and how many wings are in it? 10 so but wouldn't that be so I think you can get like oh no that makes sense that's dude the bucket will be a dollar because obviously there's I'd um, get right after that we'll have to try them so when we went <laughs> we get there and it was we're like, like oh, prime 4th of July weekend in we didn't think about beach that beach town in yeah. New England and, uh, yeah, how long is the wait? One hour and 45 minutes. Oh, so we went, dude. see ya. We went and got Mexican food at this place that we've been really enjoying. However, yes. it makes us feel like we want to die when we leave because of the queso, I think. we're gonna. We're, it, I have the hiccups for, like, two hours. I feel so full. <laughs> I'm like... It's so bad. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. Like, we it's need to so go back bad. and not do the queso yeah. and see if we still feel this way. Yeah, I'm, d- I'm down. Maybe we'll do something like, I don't know, more healthier. It's hard to get something healthy. Burritos are healthy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little lettuce. But uh, (laughs) just an absolute great Mexican place. They have, it's very authentic, and the tacos are delicious. So what did you get for your first time? I've had a couple, Uh, Barrio tacos. Yeah, Barrio tacos. Yeah. Birria. Birria tacos. Yeah. It's like beef stew tacos, basically. It was pretty good, but. Yeah. I want to try. There's a place in Methuen. I forget what it's called, but Lindsay and her brother went there, and it looks so good, dude. But we gotta stop talking about food because I'm gonna eat my arm off. I know. This was good. <clears throat> when we're around the fire. All right, lead us off there. I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> okay. Well, well, how many did we do? Well, I'll, d- I'll do another one. What is this? Moses. Oh, I didn't <laughs> know this was one. <laughs> Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes er- erroneously. For nobody's toes are po- posies, and roses, like Moses, supposes his toes to be. It's like, what is that? Gu- guess? Oh, yeah. Give that one a rip. <laughs> oh, man. So this is someone commented like someone on commented, this. Yeah, yeah, someone commented on it. Moses supposes his toes are roses, but Moses supposes erroneously, erroneously, for nobody's toes are po- posies of roses like Moses is supposes his toes to be. Man, that's a biblical one. So mother of mother Mary, mother Mary Josephine, come on. All right, we're three deep now. We got one left. And uh, I think I read all of these ones, unfortunately. So I got one of these left. All right, what are we drinking? So, last, but definitely last, not least. but definitely not least. Probably most exciting, in my opinion. If you watched our last episode, I believe it was the last episode. It might be the one, it might have been the one before. <clears throat> we talked about dirty martinis, and I was saying I thought Matt would really enjoy it because it's salty. I do like my salt. You do like the salt. Likes olives. I put salt on my salt, baby. So I love the pickle juice version. So I made a dirty martini, which is vodka, straight up vodka, 
a little dry vermouth. It's these tongue twisters, man. <laughs> and then I did pickle juice, and I garnished it with a little pickle. You, what's vermouth? Vermouth is a. Uh, it's like a gin, I think. It's like a very dry. It sounds close. Let's look. Let me look. It's like a very, very dry. So give gin. me the recipe. Give me the uh, ingredients again, please. Vodka, vermouth, and pickle juice. Oh, let's go, baby. That's it. That's it. Let's see here, though. Um, what is vermouth? Vermouth. It's a wine. <clears throat> it's a not gin. Not gin. It's a it, so it's flavored with various botanicals. So it comes from like flowers, roots, bark. It's just like a very dry, modern version of wine, basically. So that's what vermouth is. All right, let's it's give it a It's supposed shot. to like I don't know. A lot of people get it because it kick. Like if you just get a vodka martini, which is literally just vodka, they pour a little vermouth. I think it it like tames so, it a little bit. So a dirty martini has olive, olive juice. juice. That's what makes it dirty. And what's a straight up means no ice. Uh, that's neat. Neat. What what's, on the rocks is ice. What's straight up? Straight up is just like it's just like no olive juice Ooh. and a little vermouth, just okay. a little vermouth. So my real quick, my stepfather, he used to. I don't know if he still does as much now, but he always says, "I will do a gin martini or tangray martini, straight up, with a twist, very dry, no fruit, and it's a regular uh, martini glass, and it's." Literally just stacked with that's his with TSL, huh? Basically, yeah. <laughs> and he sips it, he that's sips so it all night. My, my grandfather, you reminded me, my grandfather, uh, he used to like <laughs> the, the waitress or waiter would come over and be like, All right, can I get you guys start with some drinks? And he'd be like, Hmm, hmm, you know what? I'll have a Chardonnay. I think he could, I think he had Chardonnay. <laughs> so but 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 he would always make it look like he's like looking at other things, and he'd always just order a chardonnay. He knows what it is, right? <laughs> and my mom's like that. She loves la crema, which is a chardonnay. Yeah, and she'll look and she'll like she does the same thing. It's funny. Sorry, mom, <laughs> but she'll be like, hmm, and things will like appeal maybe a little bit, but then she's like, I'll have, I'll have a la crema <laughs> if la crema's on the menu. Yeah, she's she's All right, let's going. Let's give these a shot. Let's go, but no chugging. This sip sip it up, sip it up. Yum. Are these uh, bread and butter pickles? No, just dill. Dill pickles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dill pickles. It's a rug, that's a rug rat, right? I don't know. <clears throat> Tommy pickles. Tommy pickles, yeah. Yeah. It's good. I like it. Let me give another uh, shwig. I don't believe Matt until he does like twice. Your second is. It's salty, man. This is what it is. It's just vodka and salt. Basically. Pickle Except juice. this is more sour. The olives are just straight up just salty. All right. Let me uh <laughs> let me go here. All right. Tongue twister. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's ducks. I already messed up. <laughs> Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luck's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes. Luke Luck likes. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Luck <laughs> takes licks in lakes. Duck likes. So basically, everything. <laughs> Have everything you guys ever heard of these before? These L. are insane. <laughs> these are insane. <clears throat> Shout out to the website. Let's. Cr I'll credit. I'm gonna. I want to credit the website. It's Board Panda. They have a, all crazy stuff. Have you used this website before? I have. Yeah. Board Panda, yeah. So. All um, right, give it a shot. Tell me what Luke Luck stuck <sighs> likes. Luke, what are you up to, man? It's like, let me just list everything with an L. <laughs> Before Matt passes away. Woo! <laughs> All right. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luck's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in the... In lakes, Luke Luck likes. <laughs> right, now we're just getting into like Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Luck takes licks in the lakes, ducks, likes ass. 
ass. Is that ass at the end? No. <laughs> Takes it in the ducks likes lakes. Jesus, this is. I've never crazy. so obviously we've heard this of like the, made up. The, the the seashell things. Right. I've never heard of the the shoe shine one. I I mean I I think I'm sure they're just taken from all over when people or that I don't know I'm like you have like your 101. Dad jokes. I'm, so I'm sure glad they I have. I started with one with like the minimal words. Let me give it a shot oh. now. Okay. Six sick hicks, Nick. Six slick bricks with picks and sticks. Perfect. Easy peasy. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I love it. She oh, friggin' wait, loose. I didn't do this one yet. Let me. Well, uh, I'm, I'll save that one for the grand finale. All right, grand finale. All right, grand finale. Grand. All right, grand. All right, here we go. Finale. <laughs> Pickle juice is such a good replacement. Yeah. It's like the the uh, pickleback shots. Yeah. Except we're not shooting these. What's pickleback shots? I thought it was whiskey. It's whiskey. Yeah. Whiskey with pickle juice. This is vodka. This is vodka. So. I'm opening. I'm opening your horizons. How much woodchuck could a woodchuck chug if a woodchuck could chug? Woodchuck. <laughs> He'd chug. A woodchuck would chug all the woodchuck he could chug if a woodchuck could chug woodchuck. He would, he would chug mad woodchucks. <laughs> He'd be hammered. Let's just put it that. He'd be building dams and Damn. chugging chugging woodchucks. All right. Damn. 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 Uh, Damn. <laughs> Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. It's good. And then you get, you get a little snuggle at the end. I'm very excited to eat that pickle. I know. Oof. And I got one. Woo! Wake up. Hey, yeah, what you got over there, boy? All right, let's see. These are these are quicker. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish the wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. What? <clears throat> I mean, I, I think I kind of nailed that. Try, try it out. Number uh, 24. <laughs> I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish to wish the witch wishes, I would, won't wish the wish you wish to wish. That was an easy one. There we go. All right, one more. <laughs> Most of the words were wish. I know. It's all W's. <laughs> they threw but a the, witch in there in the middle. But the L's, the Lukes and the Lux and the Licks and Dude, the la- Lakes, that's... I struggle with L's. Yeah. Round the rough and rugged rock, the ragged rascal rudely ran. Ooh, I, I nailed that one. Try it out. 25. 25. Round the rough, the rugged rock, the ragged rascal ru- rudely ran. I was close. You Not bad. Nailed it. Not bad. Not bad. These short ones are too easy. I know. It's these I know. long ones about Luke Luck <laughs> Lake likes lakes and ducks <laughs> and lick and lakes and stuff. Tongue right, twisters, I man. Finish this, and I'm gonna go go for the last one here. I'm gonna rapid <clears throat> fire it. I've been glancing at go. it, but I have not read more than three words. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Hmm. Ah. She sells seashells, but on the sea. Okay, we know this one. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are she shell are. (laughs) This is not the (laughs) typical one. It's not. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. And if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore sells <laughs> shells. <laughs> Fuck. The shells see them shells and sells. Give it a shot. All right. She sells sh- seashells on the seashore. <laughs> almost, almost, <laughs> almost missed it. The shells she shells are seashells. She shells. I'm sure. <laughs> and if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore <laughs> shells. <laughs> Man, Percy number seven. These are these are tough. These are <sighs> tough, man. Well, well, we did it. We went through we all four it. of these. Give Try us a rundown. Up. We we had a French martini. <clears throat> yep. We had a gimlet. Gim, gim, what's it called? Giblet. A gim gimlet. A gimlet. <laughs> a gimlet. <laughs> gimlet. Yes. We had a old fashioned. Yes. And we had a dirty martini every night. Yep. Those were good. I want to rank them. Let's rank them. So if you remember, the first one was the French martini. Vodka, Chambord. 
Damn it. <laughs> I follow the recipe. I'm sorry, guys. And pineapple juice. Woo! Pineapple yeah. juice. Uh, probably my least favorite. Okay. The yeah. gimlet, which was gin, vodka juice, and lime. <laughs> I, I mean, vodka <laughs> juice. <laughs> gin, no, gin, lime juice, and is that it? Or vodka juice. Gin and lime juice. And, and simple syrup. That was that was probably my favorite. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> the old fashioned was next. Yep, that was pretty dang good. I might make that my second favorite. I might put that before the dirty martini, and then third place would be the dirty martini. Yep, with pickle juice. That's mine. Very good. I'll what? tell you why this was my least favorite. Which was the French? The French. <clears throat> I'm not a grape flavored person. The raspberry still tastes sort of grapeish. Yeah. The grape is my least favorite, and like grape soda, grape every anything grape flavored, I'm I'm not a fan, and that's only the reason. It's not that it was bad; it's just my least favorite. So I'm with I you. Don't I think know what we, it was. I, the, the, I like pineapple, but the yeah. pineapple juice didn't really hit either. But see, if it was like a screwdriver where it was vodka and just the orange juice or well, pineapple juice, but s- kind of same Maybe thing. Maybe it would be better. It would be way better. Maybe we'll try that next week. We should. We should. So, yeah, give me your order. You think you're with me? Yep, I'm with you. So, I'm going number one, Gimlet. Uh, number two, I'm going with the Old Fashioned. Love a good bourbon, mar- Old Fashioned. Three, going with the uh, pickle juice and, you know, dirty martini. Last, going with... Uh, Great right. raspberry. So we're on the same page. Yeah. They were, uh, I mean, thank you for making these. They were very good. Um, some are better than others. That's yeah. just a just simple fact. Don't ever make it again. Just no. uh, don't ever invite me over here ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're, now, we're, now we're lubed up. So. Hello? Ducks? So. Luke's duck <laughs> likes lakes. <laughs> but I want, we, we've been saying a lot of she she shells and shit shells and all this stuff. Yep. So, <laughs> let's talk about an odd news report. Give me it. What in the world, baby? All right. So this is in Arizona. It's in Williams, Arizona. It's ah the, the New Hampshire of the West Coast. <laughs> yeah. Is it is tax it really? free? Yeah. yeah. Fireworks are legal. It's yeah. So there's a museum out there called. Museum, and it's what the name is. It's about poo, and it's fossilized excrement. the The scientific the the scientific word for it is uh, coprolites. Um, in layman's terms, shit. It's it's a, it's, it's a pile poop. of shit. Poop. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So it opened. It, it's been around for a lot longer, but it opened in Arizona in May. Please tell me it's like cool, like dinosaur poop. Or That's like what it is. Old bird. That's or what something it is. Something weird, but like not like oh, th- this is Joey's poop from Tuesday. <laughs> no, <laughs> it is not human poop. I promise. <laughs> yeah. So the exhibit has over seven thousand of the cop- uh, coprolites, which is the the poop, the excrement. Um, seven thousand. Seven thousand. So it's samples. It's a lot of poop. It's a lot of poop. Do you think it smells? No, I don't. It's maybe. fossilized. It's old, It's right? fossilized, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. So a couple highlights, which I was surprised. It's free. So if you are in free Williams. Free poop. Yep. If you are in William, Williams, Arizona, go here. It's free. Um, it includes a T-Rex uh, feces with bone fragments, and that indicates that they swallowed their prey whole. So that's what I was going to say is like the cool thing about this is like <clears throat> it, the the poop shows what they ate. So it's probably right. like birds and like you know smaller rodents and stuff that they ate. I it's probably so it takes place in the Jurassic era. So if there are any birds that were like alive during that time, it it would be from them. Yeah, it's birds. So birds are dinosaurs. Birds. Oh yeah, okay. They've been around since dinosaurs. Dinos. They right. they survived the asteroids, baby. They did. They did. I just well, I'm thinking of like a crow or something, but I guess it, there yeah. may not have been crows back then. Yeah. I I'm not sure. Well, hey, I learned I learned something. Uh, so for this place, uh, if you're in the area, <clears throat> it says they have a bright green T-Rex cartoon sign of a T you know T-Rex. So it's a great way to find it, or just look at the giant museum on the top there. Um, I feel like if you're going. 
you're gonna find it. Like it's yes. not, and maybe those are for like people driving by, like what the hell is it? Oh, it's a Puseum. Right. But if you're going to the Puseum, you know where you're going. <laughs> right. I've never heard of Williams before until now. I've never heard of a Puseum. Yeah. So they I like the name. Puseum, yes. Um Maybe someday we'll make it to the museum. We will. And on by make it, I mean not to go visit. We'll just make it. We'll be in an and go to Freddy's <laughs> on our way to Freddy's. Freddy's, <laughs> and then you go look at poop. Yep. <laughs> so I guess um, I don't guess. This is what it says. So Williams, they're known for their uh, Wild West shows. So it's pretty much way out there, like in the desert area, and they're also famous for Route 66 attractions. Um, the Copra Lights are valuable for understanding prehistoric ecolo- ecology. Um, wow, that's what I was saying. It's it's cool because yeah. you know what kind of berries or fruits or you know leaves or animals that there were back in that time based right. on what they ate and what they just you know their poop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean that's 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 what it's all about. There's thousands of authentic it's fossilized. All about, poop, baby. all about the poop. Trust the poop. Um, it includes Barnum. Barnum is the largest. Uh, Copper light ever discovered. It's the largest poop ever discovered. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, remarkable, remarkable art pieces like hand painted. Wait, 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 wait. Go back a sec here. Okay. I want yeah. some more information on this if we have to Google it. Okay, Barnum? Yeah. Okay, let's What is it? What's and how big was it? That's the Barnum. So, let's Barnum, see. he said, was the biggest poop or the biggest, you know, the largest poop. Copper light, yeah. Copper light. I want to know, is that, I mean, what produced it? I want to know what's in it, and I want to know how big it is. Let's see. The Barnum? Like B-A-R-N-H-A-M? B-A-R-N-U-M. Bar- oh, okay, Barnum. Copperlate. Let's check it out, guys. All right. Let's see. Sorry to stop you so mid-story. It's si- no, it, no it, well, it all relates, because this guy, so his no- his name is George Franson. He's the it founder. It was his poop? He's, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big one. He was the founder of uh, the uh, Puseums. Puseum, all right. So he's he's had the Puseums active for over two decades. Arizona is just like a new addition from May. Okay. Um, it is sixty-seven point five centimeters, and it's accumulated specimens over the years. He had he now concentrates on finding the most incredible pieces in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's so Barnum? That's. I, I don't know what Barnum means. Let's I want to know what animal made it. Was it a T-Rex crap? Was it, it a might be T-Rex. It's all crap? about the dinosaur Jurassic, but let's see. What is what is the Barnum? <laughs> let's see. What is the Barnum? Uh, so 67 centimeters you said? Yeah. That's pretty big. <laughs> that's a that's a big that's old a big dookie. Big old duty, man. The Barnum uh Species. Let's 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 try looking at that. Yeah, it's a T Rex. It's the world's largest uh copper light. All right, so T Rex had the biggest dookies back in the day. That's, that's what's right. up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So that's what the, they right. they call it the Barnum. I don't know if, if they named it Barnum or what, but it's a T Rex. T Rex seems to be the big thing here, but they have all different creatures. They also have a here you'll like this. Ooh. They also have a four foot wide Titan Titan or Saurus. Titan or Saurus. Titanosaur. Titanosaur. There you go. God, it's tongue twisters. Poop replica and or and an original 1830 print of Duria antiquir. Antiquir. But I have I have what that what that is. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, why do I love this? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's Latin. It's Latin. So Duria antiquir antiquir. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. It means a more ancient Dorset. It's a famous watercolor painting by geologist and artist Henry de la Beche. So, why why did you say you love this? Well, because it was four feet wide. Okay, that's <laughs> that's a nice poop. Yeah, that's what I meant. Let's go. I meant Wait, the size. Four feet wide. That's got to be more than <laughs> sixty-seven centimeters. Well, th- this is different than the Barnum, I think. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. Should we look that up? I don't know. <laughs> sixty-seven centimeters. How many inches is that? Give it. Give Let's it to go. me in American terms. All right, 67, I'm guessing, all right, let me guess feet. how many centimeters are. I think there's like <laughs> 28 centimeters in a foot. I could be way wrong, so roast me in the comments. How many centimeters in a foot? Uh, 2.19. No. <laughs> no how many feet. centimeters are 67, in a foot? 67. So 67 is 
is two, so it's like thirty three. Okay, thirty three. Yeah, so I wasn't too far off. So, so sixty seven like is two two, feet, two, two in two feet and two inches. <laughs> two foot Duke, <laughs> and then one of them is four feet wide, which is not the biggest one apparently, which makes no sense. Open up the doors. I'm, call, I'm gonna let's call this place right now. Get them on the line. <laughs> Hi, Puseum. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> talking about poop here i i mean this is this is this popped up on the news and it was like people are re- it has a five star review on google dude and there's like go. 60 to 100 reviews now they have remarkable art pieces like hand painted carnival banners and the stinker the stinker is a bronze sculpture of a t-rex sitting on the toilet oh <laughs> let's go how big is it i don't know <laughs> should we get one yeah we should we should <laughs> right behind me on the podcast <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, all jokes aside, um, yeah, it inspires curiosity about coprolites and prehistoric past through public research and education. So it's like, what so if you're in a poop, yeah. hit them up. Yeah. It's not my kind of museum. I have it. F- I mean, it is free, so I guess I could go. What would your favorite, mu- like, like your favorite museum be? Would it be like, like the history of rock music or something fun like that? Yeah. 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 Um, if I could go to multiple, if I only could go to like one more museum ever, um, I don't know. It it's doesn't hard. have to be real. It can okay. be fake. Um, like obviously, like for me, like the Air and Space Museum would be cool. Right. I think a museum full of like exotic cars and old muscle cars would be really cool. That would be cool. I mean, I'm I'm always down to see where things originated, like how it was made. Like, do you ever watch that show? Uh, how it's made. No. It's a good show. Oh wait, uh, is that? Did they have candy and stuff too? Probably. Okay. I think they have like, la- like uh, not Laffy Taffy. They have like, uh, what's it called? Sea, oh, uh, sea salt. Sea salt. Oh, uh, salt taffy or whatever. I know what you're talking about. Salt Bay. So, uh, sea salt. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm thinking of Unwrapped. Unwrapped is focused on candy, but I, I have seen how it's made. And it's just all sorts it's of like things. It's like a Discovery show. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool show. I love that I stuff. I watched one time how swords were made. Wild. <laughs> I mean, you can imagine it. They just melt down metal and shit. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I know, no, no pun intended. Well, well, just to close this out, so this painting, the Duria Antiquir, uh, by um, I, I don't know this guy. I'm sorry. I wish I, I wish I did. Bill Nye. Yeah, by Henry. Henry, the geologist, Henry de la Beche. De la Beche. The painting depicts various marine creatures from the Jurassic period in their natural habitat. Oh, marine creatures. That's cool. You know what that means? Oh yeah, sharks and ocean. Ocean, yeah, yeah ocean, yeah. He, sharks. Uh, th- that painting is notable for being the first artistic representation to depict prehistoric animals interacting and defecating. I Let's love a go. good defecation. Hey, you guys, you, you want to go out for a beer and then take a crap? That's basically what we're looking at here. They're interacting and they're defecating. It's a good first date uh, intro. <laughs> So if you're on a first date, <laughs> take her to the Pusium. <laughs> That's right. Talk about Henry. By the way, you mentioned sharks. It's yeah. Shark Week, baby. It is. You're happy, right. So happy Shark Week. Happy Shark Week. Happy uh, Shark Week. I used to love Shark Week. I haven't watched it probably in a couple of years, unfortunately. But I haven't either. When I lived in California, I would go surfing during Shark Week. Okay. And like it didn't. It never bothered me. There's sharks out there. It's the ocean. It is what it is. But my mom would always be like, "You're going. You're going surfing during Shark Week. What are you crazy?" I'm like. I guess so, Mom. <laughs> Shark Week is, it was great. Shark Week I stopped. Hits. It does. It does. I uh, I, but, uh, st- I stopped. I think once they did the Sharknados and stuff like that, I was oh, like, this man. is just like absurd. The science cool stuff where they're out like tracking sharks and like researching them, that part's cool. Right. All the fake made up bull crap stories and movies and docuseries, if you will. It was so bad. That's it was so good. Bad. That's <laughs> that's. I that's mean, that's right. that's why it got so famous. Yeah, you had so many famous people in it. So many, and there, really? there are three of them. And Sharknado. Yeah. Who? Uh, Tara Reid. Uh, she's like, she had her her big moments like in the early two thousands and stuff. Like kind of the American Pies okay. days. Yeah. She wasn't in American Pie, I don't think, but those kind of days. You had like people from Shark Tank. You had um, Shark Tank. Yeah. Yeah, I think one of the investors were on that show. <laughs> Mark Cuban's getting eaten I by think, the shark or something. Yeah, I'm, I I almost am positive it was Mark Cuban or that's something. Dope. But they were just inviting everything because then they came out two, they came out three, and I think that's why it was so popular because there were so many celebrities on it. All right, that's cool. So, 
<sighs> well, are we at that time? We're there, baby. All right. That was a that was a good time. Thanks for making these again. We had the French martini, meh. We had the gimlet, sure did. Absolutely fantastic. And that's gin. gin. I'm not usually a big gin fan. That was fantastic. That was so good. We had the old fashioned, which was also very very good. I would uh, I would uh, definitely try one of those again. And then we had the dirty martini with pickle juice. Yes. Good. Electrolytes. Very yeah. good. Yeah, dude. I'm hydrated, let me tell you. <laughs> Next episode, I, I guess we'll just break out those martini glasses and go with a good old gimlet. We should, dude. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. Very it's good down. stuff. Very good. Every Thursday, 11 a.m., new content's coming out, new videos on YouTube. Check out our shorts, our reels, our Instagram stories, our Instagram videos, Facebook, everything. It's all out there, baby. Like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. As always, shake it up. The Martini Boys. The Martini Boys. Pour yourself a drink.